tell you a story that just happened this year. And I'm a junior at Bristol High School, to give you a little background. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if she's still better now. I know she loves waiting for that, so, so let's just get a little bit of that over with. Um, uh, so. <laughs> 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 so I kind of thought, well, what are you doing? I'm a junior at first high school. It's just about, I guess, about 30 And I, I was diagnosed with cerebral palsy two and a half uh, before that. Uh, I guess they weren't sure what I had at the time. They told my parents I was a little retarded. Of course, you'll all be kids, but. When I was born, uh, they told my parents, first or second day after my mother had me, I would die. And I can't imagine, well, I guess I can from knowing my mother, but I can't imagine what that would be like to know that doctors have no faith in the baby is As it turns out, as everybody knows, I'm here. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and I haven't died, at least. Not for a long time yet. Um, I came into school in the first grade. I never went to kindergarten because I moved up to Bristol my kindergarten here. I came from when I was in New York. And I spent uh, my years in elementary school. Um, that was like floodlight. Everybody uh, new sensation. You know, nobody had seen a wheelchair before, and <coughs> and I was just I was cool, and I did I didn't even know what that was. Hey, I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got a wheelchair, right? <laughs> of course, I never associated this with a status symbol. You know, but okay. <laughs> so I, I spent. All my years in elementary school, having a group of friends, had the best time, went to parties, did, did everything. Uh, people loved me. I, I was great. I was nice. I could, I could talk. I, was, uh, I guess they thought I was cute. You know, oh, kids with kids wheelchair. <laughs> you know, it's just a cute sort of thing. And then I went to middle school, uh, and that was difficult because. All the kids were sort of drifting away. I wasn't so new anymore, you know. And they formed their own relationships, and it was just all, you know, we've learned how her wheelchair works. You know, and I thought, okay, where did they all go? <coughs> so I tried to find them. I tried to search the people I had in elementary school as friends out again. And, and most just weren't interested. Um, whether, it, whether it was their hang up or whether they just wanted to move on or they were at a different point in their life, I don't know. So I spent most of my middle school years alone. Uh, I can remember uh, years of sitting at uh, the lunch table by myself. Oh my god, that's so sad. Wasn't there somebody you could sit with? You know, uh, and you're thinking, no, there wasn't. You know, I mean, yes, I'm sure there were people I could have asked, but the only people that I really knew were my old friends. And they weren't interested anymore. So, what was I going to do? Um, so, then I got into high school. Things got a little bit better. Um, 
I'm still not much of a joiner. I, I'm, I'm not into uh, fun social activities that, that people are normally into and people are especially you know. What's the matter with you? You're never going to meet anybody if you don't join. And I thought, but these people aren't where I'm at. They don't, they don't understand me. You know, and they're like, well, they could listen to you and they talk. Well, most of them didn't have an operation in the first seven. Most of them um, could get up from the toilet by themselves. And most of them could run and play outside. I could never do that. And I'm not saying that there weren't people who couldn't do that. But I just knew that I was visibly different. And that would always sort of separate me from the rest. 